All right, so hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Only being Chris here with a kitten up for you video. We are getting ready for hashtag Diamonds and Diversity hosted by the lovely Painting with Pities and Lexi Sparkle. And I wanted to go ahead and just make this kind of like a, you know, kitten chat you know, with chaos, because there's always chaos. Anyway, um, I welcome you all to the channel. If you are new to the channel, welcome on in. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. It really means so much to me. So throughout this video, if you feel like, you know, you might want to subscribe if you haven't already, if you like this video, you want to leave a comment down below, you know, do that because that means a lot and it helps me know that you like my content and you know, that I'm, you know, somebody you enjoy watching, you know, with all kinds of other chaos involved, you know, because there's always chaos. Anyway, I am not good with like introductions. So don't come here if you think I'm good with introductions, because I'm not good with introductions. Wow, Chris, that was a mouthful. So oh, we're getting up Frida Kylo. It is by Patrice Merciano. I believe I'm saying his name correctly. I may or I may not. I'm not good with words. Don't come for me. That's just how I rock and roll. I'm not good with words, but who is? What are words anyway? What are words? Words are hard. They are hard. It is Sunday for me, but it's going to be Wednesday for you all. This video might be a long video. So with that being said, you know, if you're watching me on your TV and you're laying in bed and you're, you know, diamond painting or you're just chilling out on your back porch, drinking a cup of coffee or drinking a drink, whatever you're doing, driving in the car. I wouldn't suggest that because I can be a little distracting. So whatever you're doing, um, you know, make yourself comfy. It's going to be a ride for you all. I'm not going to lie. It's going to be chaotic. Like it usually is something bounds to happen, like spilling diamonds and, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, but we're going to get rock, rock and rolling. It's kind of quiet here today. I got my door shut. I'm in my bedroom. I did go through um, some old kits of mine and got rid of some diamonds. I didn't do like a kitten down type deal. I do have a habit of mixing my diamonds up. So I did put them in a special little container right here right here so they're these are not all from one painting by the way um they're just you know in there there's a nice little vibe going on there these pink ones up top i don't know if you can see those um they were full of static yes and i was talking to a friend the other day and i think the static's on my part I don't know. It got kind of humid here all of a sudden this past weekend. We had to shut the windows again and put the air conditioner on. And I think it was kind of humid in my room. So my my diamonds got a little staticky there, you know? All right. So let's get rocking and rolling. But welcome on in, my friends. Hopefully you're all having a great day. Let me know in the comments down below how you all are feeling. How is your week going so far? Do you have any plans for like the Memorial Day holiday if you're here in the U.S.? Um, what is going on? What's on your mind? And um, if you have anything exciting going on. And I also want to point out that, uh, you know, I come here to do these videos because I totally enjoy diamond painting. I like I really do. I think I'm a little addicted to diamond painting. Um, but I also use it as an outlet because I deal with anxiety myself, if you can't tell already. But this is kind of like my commonplace, like I kind of just like let go and, you know, I try to be creative, I try to be funny and I, I think laughing is like the best medicine out there. So if you can laugh and, you know, giggle at yourself a little bit, that's, you're doing a good job. You're doing a good job. But, you know, if you can't get there, if you can't, you know, feel the greatest today or you haven't gotten to that place where you feel like you are feeling good, hopefully you can do something that can, like diamond painting reading a book, relaxing, watching a good movie, um, doing some yoga, taking a shower. You know, sometimes it's so simple, like just making your bed is like a big thing, you know, because sometimes, you know, people who deal with, you know, anxiety, depression, it's really hard for them to get up and get moving. So if you made your bed today, kudos to you, my friends. If you've taken a shower, kudos to you. If you haven't, Hopefully I inspire you to go take a shower. You know what I mean? Go outside too and get some fresh air. Drink your water as well. Anyway, that's that's craziness. Anyway, I keep saying anyway. I'm going to try not to say anyway a whole lot. We're going to kit up Frida Kylo today. And Frida is a round, a 20 and a half by 20 and a half. 
and it is round. So I don't know if I said that already. Um, but this painting, I think is a rainbow, right? Like the skeleton's not all right. The skeleton is definitely not a rainbow, but the flowers on top are and there's something about this painting that kind of just stands out to me. And I really don't know how to explain it. But I thought this would be a good painting to do for um, diamonds and diversity because I think with the rainbows and the flowers and stuff, it does represent pride. So hopefully I'm making the right decision by doing this painting. I, I feel like I'm drawn to it. So that's the reason why I'm doing it. But we're just going to have fun with it. And to tell you the truth, I really could not find another painting that I haven't already done um, that does represent pride. So... I do have a couple that I did buy from Timu and Amazon, but I don't know how I feel about doing those types of paintings here on the channel because I don't know if they're supposed to be licensed or they're not licensed. So we're just going to go with the flow, my friends. We're going to go with the flow. All right, so let's get started. So we have 39 colors. So I thought for sure I just emptied this out. Oops, let's not drop anything. I figured we would use this container right here from DP with sparklers. It is a beautiful case right here. And it does have, I actually counted them earlier. I know they have more than 39. So I think it's like 40 something, I believe. I'm not going to count right now because I'm just not. So we're going to use these containers. I do like these containers. I think they're really cool. They do hold a lot of diamonds. So we're going to do that and um, we're going to kit up. I'm probably not going to start this until June, but I kind of want to have it ready to go because when June 1st hits, I want to get started. So we will be doing some like whipping chats with this. I'll be posting progress pictures up on Instagram. And yeah, I just I thought it would be a cool Sunday video to do. So that way I didn't have to record it on a Wednesday and kind of like hurry to get it uploaded, all that good stuff. So this video is kind of like a whip and chat, but it's a kitten chat with chaos. And there goes my watch. Oh, okay. Yeah, so hopefully everybody's doing well. Like I said, that's that's a long intro, Chris, a long intro. You've been recording for like about eight minutes and I feel like you've told a huge story that makes no sense at all to most people, probably, whatever. Anyway, I do have my coffee. I do have a bag right here um, that the drills came in. So I'm just gonna put my extra, uh, my I'm sorry, my bags in here. So that way, I can throw my trash in here. I'm going to place it right here. And then when we're done kitting up, I am going to um, show you what accessories I'll be using, like washi tape, pens, mine covers, trinket trays, all that good stuff. So let's get started. Now, the way I do these uh, kitten ups, I kind of just go with the whatever I can grab a hold of first, if that makes any sense. So we're gonna put in three, eight, I'm sorry, three, six, oh, nine. I do have my handy dandy scissors. Friends, these were not in my bag. They were not in my purse. They were not at school. They were in my junk drawer. I'm like, oh man, I really need these. These are my favorite, I love these. So we're gonna start off with uh, three, six, oh, nine. Now I'm really happy about, actually let's, before I do that, I did wanna put some, this is the deal. Do I want to get fancy fancy with the washi tape? I got these washi tapes off of Amazon. Do I want to be fancy and put these on here? You know what? Yeah, we're going to do it. I'm going to go. I don't know how great this washi tape is, but we're going to put it on anyway. So let's do, let's put that on. Oh, that's not bad. I think that looks good. Yeah, I think that looks good. So we're going to do... Uh, three six oh nine let's put this over here okay number 31 now i might be able to just open this up and pour it in let's see if i'm gonna spill it at all will i spill it oh no chris i think you got it all right bag number one down three six oh nine three six oh eight you know what? I'm just going to cut some of these. But yeah, so it is Sunday. What have we done this weekend? We have done nothing at all. <laughs> I was able to go through my stash 
and I do have a video coming up, I think at the end of this month, I did write it down to where I would like to plan out my, um, my month of uh, June and July with you all because I'm thinking, I'm thinking here that I am possibly going to do a mystery painting, okay? A mystery painting. Now, I did give one away and I know it's squares and all, um, but it's a fantasy, uh, a fantasy ocean mystery kit. It's from Diamond Art Club and I had it sitting in my closet and I'm like, you know what? I don't, I was going to give it away at first. And then the person who I was going to give it away to said, you know, no, thank you. They didn't want it. I said, well, you know what, Chris, you did spend money on it. Do you, do you want to do it? Do you, wait, hold on. What number was that, Chris? <laughs> do you want to do it and just try it out? Because I haven't done a mystery pain in. I did start one and I didn't like it. I didn't like it, but I think I'm trying to give squares a chance. I think I'm going to give squares a chance. And I think this mystery fantasy ocean could possibly help me with the squares. And it's a big pain in. I was thinking maybe possibly we could kit it up like, you know, soon. So when I'm done with Frida for Diamonds and Diversity, we could uh, possibly do that for like June and July because a lot of the events I want to do are in August. August and then September and then October. So I think I should do it. I think I should, you know, come out of my comfort zone and just do it. I think these are looking really good, by the way. They're looking really good. They are. So let me see real quick what size that mystery painting is because I actually have it laying on my bed. Let me look real quick. Sorry. It is a 22 inch by 28 inch. It is a square and it's from Scott Gustafson. Gustafson. Oh, but it's mystery kit number 34. So I was thinking, because you know why? It might have a turtle in there, my friends. It might have a turtle. If it has a turtle, we will be living, you know? Ugh, I would love to have another turtle painting. I had so much fun doing the tropical sea turtle. That one was so nice, especially with the um, fairy dust that they've been putting in some of the paintings. They're really nice too. They're just nice to work on, but the rounds are good. But you know what? I have a lot of paintings that have squares. So, I mean, I bought them right for a reason. Why, why don't you just suck it up, Chris, and try to deal with it? So that's what I'm going to do. That's going to be a summer project, my friends. A summer project. So I want to know in the comments down below if you all have a pain in that you're looking forward to doing that you would like to do for the, you know, summertime. If you're here in the U.S. and it's summertime for you, um, let me know. And uh, I, I'm really curious to know if anybody is working on a mystery pain in. That would be really cool. Yes. So I was talking about it in uh, my unboxing of this paint in here, Frida Kylo. Um, even though she's not the artist of this paint in, you know, it's a paint in inspired, it's a paint in inspired by Frida Kylo. Does that make sense? So I remember like in school when I went to school years ago, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I'm in my 40s now. But when I was in school, I was in school for many, many, many years. Um, I changed uh, <laughs> I changed my major several times. Um, that was the fun part. I studied when I first started, uh, you know, studying in college, I did uh, dance. I was studying dance. And um, after that, I studied uh, music for a little bit. That didn't go too well. <laughs> But that was only for like a semester. I tried to take a guitar class and it didn't work out. <laughs> and then I also decided that I wanted to do art because I've always liked art. I've always been, you know, I've always tried to be creative with art. So after I had um, my son and my daughter, my oldest, I wanted to become an art teacher. So I did several years with art and art um art therapy or color theory art history like all kinds i don't remember anything you know i don't remember much of anything 
the last time I was in college, I was pregnant with my youngest. And sad part is I got carpal tunnel real bad, so I couldn't finish my color theory class. But I did enjoy it, though, because we were really, you know, getting into, like, colors and the color wheel and stuff like that. So that was really interesting. But I have several college credits. Not that they're probably any good right now, but, you know. So I... <laughs> Yeah. So I remember my whole point of this story is to talk about Frida Kylo. So I remember coming across her art and I don't know, I can't remember or not if I did a paper on her in art history. I'm not really sure. I guarantee if I went into my garage and looked at my old, you know, notebooks, I could possibly find something because I used to write everything down. I still do. I still write everything down. But I remember just uh you know coming across her art and she has some really interesting um bits of history about her you know I'm not going to get into grand old details about that because I want to save that for the whipping chats and stuff you know we'll talk about Frida and stuff now Patrice or P I think it's Patrice I'm pretty sure it's Patrice. I I love this type of art. I'm really drawn to the watercolor lately. I really like watercolor. I'm going to mute myself for a second so you don't hear all the crinkling. Hold on. I love watercolor. And I think that's why I was, I think I was more drawn to, the, to this painting because of the watercolor. Not so much the skeleton face, but I kind of get like a um, Day of the Dead vibe as well. But I'm really loving the flowers up here and just the details in the face. So I think it's I think it's really cool. I think it's a different painting. I haven't done a painting like this before. And um yeah. So I like the I definitely like the watercolor. So watercolors are are fun to do. Yeah, so also, if you want to let me know in the comments down below, if you are taking part of this uh, event here, Diamonds and Diver Diversity, I just ordered um, a couple items. I ordered a shirt from uh, a website. I'll put the link in the description down below of the shirt I purchased that has Diamonds and Diversity on it. I believe it's from Lexi's, one of Lexi's pages. I know Lexi and Brie did, uh, they are in the process of moving their shops over from Etsy to like a shop, a Shoptify or a shop, uh, Chris, you know, like a regular website. So not on, on Etsy. And I think that's great because I know a lot of people have been talking about how insane the fees are and stuff like that, but I do like Etsy because I love the fact that you can find so many different creative artists and stuff. I really love Etsy. Um, I think there are so many creative things you can get there. A lot of, you know, handmade stuff. I love Etsy. <laughs> Etsy's really cool. Yeah, so I am going to get like, you know, matching... I'm not going to buy a special pen for this painting or this event because I do have one that I did buy from Diamond Pen Pal. And let me just say, I'm in love with their pens as well. I love this pen. I got this pen for um, in support of a student of mine who is uh, fighting cancer. And um, the orange, you know, is for leukemia. So I was inspired to buy this for her and I did a diamond painting. I'm going to do several more for her and we're just going to, you know, continue to like support this little girl and, you know, keep her in our thoughts and prayers. You know, it's a very tough subject to talk about. It's really sad and it breaks my heart. You know, I want to, <laughs> I want to cry about it because I just, I think it's just something that shouldn't exist. It shouldn't happen to little kids, you know, it shouldn't happen to anybody. Cancer sucks, basically. Um, but I just think of how much of a hero she is. And, you know, she's so brave. And she's going to fight this fight, you know. But I, I love seeing everybody come together to show their support. So that's what I we've been focusing on, like making bracelets and stuff like that. Yeah. But so I am going to be using, yep, yeah, that pen. It's one of the colors of the rainbow. It's that orange, which I like. 
don't know, orange is a good color. Plus, this would be great for <laughs> the fall time as well. And I like this one. This is my first like normal pen. It's not like chunky. So um, and I did order another one. I, I have like I think I, I have like a total of five pens from Diamond Pen Pal. I enjoy them. I think they're lovely pens. Yeah. So I did purchase a couple other things from Diamond Art Club this uh, past weekend. They did um, add a couple, you know, restocks back in. So I did get, uh, I don't want to ruin it because it's going to be like an unboxing, you know, in the next, you know, couple weeks. I did get this really nice one that was like a new release. It's called like something carolers. And I love the artwork. Love the artwork. So I got that. And then I got one that's called Let It Go, I believe. But I don't want to. Oh, this bag looks like it has. Oh, don't tell me you're going to get all staticky on me. Let me mute for a second. Yeah, I, I don't remember the names off, you know, without like looking in my book. But I was, uh, I was drawn to them. And I'm like, Oh, I like those I could possibly, you know, do those. So they're, uh, they'll be coming in, I'm gonna put a little piece of uh, a fabric softener fabric sheet in there, just so it doesn't. I don't know. Like I said, we have the windows open and I don't know if they're doing it or what. I do place these little fabric sheets in my little suitcase here watch your fingers and I have it over here <laughs> yes yeah so this painting has like a majority of the outside of this painting here is going to be 5200 and it's not like an AB so let me see what is the 154 I think there's only two ABs in this one right um I was going through my other stash of diamonds and I found these white ABs that I'm going to add in so I'm going to keep these to the side yes oops I don't have to take that off okay but yeah, I got this washi tape off of um, Amazon and I got a whole bunch of them actually for fairly cheap. My washi tape uh, stash is building. It's building up. It's getting there. Let's see. It's so weird how I haven't had any problems with static until like the last kit. Like I worked on... Wonder Woman for my student at school and the last like section of the diamond painting we were working on that pink color which is 957 and the whole container was just like you could not separate the diamonds no matter what you did and I'm like you know what this is a sign that I need to just slow down a little bit you know so you know, since we're here and chit-chatting too, um, it is the 21st when I'm recording, but it will be, I believe it's going to be the 24th for you all when you watch this. Oops, this is 400. So, of course, the hype is getting real. The hype is getting real. Um, our school year is coming to an end soon and... I am getting excited about having the summer off and I will have about um, a week until my other daughter ends school. So I'll be able to, you know, do some unboxings, do all kinds of fun stuff, you know, before, you know, she gets out of school because you know how it all rocks and rolls. The kids get out of school for like one day and they're bored. So she'll be, she'll get out of school like June. I forget what day. And then like a week later, I think it's after the 4th of July, she will be going to camp. So I'll have even, <laughs> I'll have more time to kind of just like, you know, I'm not going to say I'm just going to lay around all summer. I'm not doing that. It's just that, you know, I kind of don't have to run around a whole lot. Um, 
and it can kind of like, you know, relax a little bit more. And I, I do plan on continuing my schooling over the summer. I do have classes that I have to take. I have to actually take a, quite a few. So I'll be doing that like in the morning and getting stuff out of the way. So when it is, you know, time for Ev to get out of school or, you know, get out of camp, she can come on home and we can go swimming in the pool. So we don't have anything planned, like nothing like vacation wise. Um, I know we, my kids don't like the beach. My kids don't like to go to the beach. My, my girls I'm talking about, like my son, he goes with his girlfriend, but um, I don't know, like here in Jersey, it's so expensive to get a shore house. So we might do like day trips and stuff like that, but we're more homebodies. Like we just, we, we chill here. We do a lot of barbecues. We have family over. We have a lot of birthdays in the summertime. You know, you have the 4th of July, then you have my birthday, and then you have my other daughter's birthday. And before you know it, September will be here. And the crazy thing about that is that my oldest girl um, is going to be a senior this year. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. Oh, that's another reason why we kind of didn't plan like any crazy vacations because we have to, you know, save a little bit of money so we can pay for, you know, prom that's going to come up. She's going on a senior trip, you know. So with that being said, I, I think it's, <laughs> I think I should take it easy with the diamond paintings, you know, buying. I know it's more of a like, you know, wanting to collect the ones that I like. And um, if I see one on Diamond Art Club or a site that I really want to give away as a gift or whatever I want to do and give away as a gift, I'll buy it. But yeah, my, my closet's filling up and it's the same old boohoo story, Chris. Stop fooling yourself. Gosh. Oh. I really like the process of kitten up, you know? Like we're almost done. We only have like this strand and then we do have we have a lot of 5200s so hopefully they'll fit in these right here hopefully they'll fit but I'm gonna take a sip of coffee real quick real quick sorry yeah I don't know if I'm gonna put this pride wash tape washi tape on the paint in I might have to see if I can find like a you know another washi tape I did go to Target um I think it was Thursday no Wednesday we went we went Wednesday because Ev's birthday was on Friday. She celebrated a birthday. And you know what? I'll talk about that um, real quick because it, I felt so bad. So, you know, it's like allergy season for a lot of people. A lot of people, you know, the pollen's bad and Evelyn doesn't usually get sick, but Oh, whatever she had, it caught her good. So they had they had state testing last week. So Friday, they did a little bit of testing in the morning. And then they had like pajama day for the kids so the kids can come in in PJs. So it was Ev's birthday. So Wednesday, what we did was uh, we went to Target and she picked out some goodie bags, um, stuff for her goodie bags to give to her classmates. And she picked out like skateboards, little wind up dinosaurs, you know, stuff like that. And I don't know why. Why do we always spend so much money at Target? You know, clothes are so expensive. Like I bought her some shorts and I bought her two bathing suits for the pool. And I think the most expensive thing we did purchase, she really loves Legos. Like she loves Legos. Like she loves Legos. Like I love diamond painting. <laughs> so she bought, I let her buy two because one was going to be from her, you know, her sister and then one from me and dad. She picked out Star Wars. I'm like, you go girl. But then she also mentioned something about like how she wanted a shelf in her room. So... I ended up buying that on Friday. So anyway, but Friday was her birthday and I felt bad. She woke up Friday morning, like really early. We both were up really early. Like our, our sleep schedule has been off like tremendously. It's been so off. And she was up at like three, I think. And I'm like, oh, Ev, I said, but you got, you know, testing today. You really should try to get some, some rest. She's like, but I really don't feel good. So she had like a, you know, really bad runny nose and a cough. And I said, well, you know, we can give you some medicine. 
I said, but I, I do have to send you to school there. I said, you know, you have testing. She's like, yeah, I know. And I said, plus you have all your, you know, your goodie bags for your friends. And she was all excited that they were going to announce her name like on the on the announcements. And so she went to school like a trooper, but she also went in her PJs because Friday was PJ day. And let me tell you, Ev was not playing around. She wore her dinosaur jammies, which is like a short set, like a short shorts and shirt. And then she, she wore a full, like, you know, winter robe basically to school. <laughs> and um, I told her, I said, well, when you get home, we're going to go me and you, I said, we'll go and pick out a cake because she's not really a cake person. She likes only a certain type of cake. Not that she's, you know, like picky. It's just that, you know, she's lactose intolerant. So we have to watch. So she mentioned something about a cookies and cream pie, which I know, well, you know, it's not good for your tummy. Well, Ev picked out, I kid you not, she picked out this chocolate mousse pie or cake, whatever you want to call it. And it was straight out delicious I don't even know if that's the term you would use like it was redonkulously good and we sang happy birthday to her but I felt so bad like she kind of just like napped when we got home she went and she laid in her bed and she chilled for a little bit and then um we had a couple friends over on Friday so um she woke up we all had Chinese and we were gonna have like my sister over and my mom over but you know I didn't want to get them sick because I don't I don't think it's what we think it is or what it could be I don't think it's that you know um I think it's just a cold it's just a cold this is 321 okay gotta remember that 321 so yeah so we we had like a laid back night and she opened her you know little gifts I did buy her a quilt I always try to get my girls and you know my kids like for birthdays or whatever um I do get them like little quilt sets and stuff from like Target so I picked her out this cute little dinosaur one because all of a sudden she's into dinosaurs I'm like all right let's do it you know and it's really lightweight so that would be cool and it matches like her other pillowcases and stuff but yeah we so yesterday we kind of just chilled and I got some stuff in the mail and I was trying to finish that diamond painting for um our student at school because I want to frame it and I went through some um I went through my journal like to try to like update stuff and figure out like you know try to plan get a little head start on June because June's coming it's coming quick oh and um this will be my first summer off in a long time I I don't think I've had a summer off well no I take that back we had summers off because of um you know COVID but since I've been back to work I haven't I didn't have summer off last year I didn't have the summer off and I regretted it because I, I just felt so drained so this year I was like you know what I'm putting I'm putting you know I'm putting it out there that I'm just gonna you know take a break and you know get stuff done still around the house and you know school wise and stuff you know but um, I'm not gonna run back and forth to work every day <laughs> not doing that especially because they don't have an air conditioner in my classroom I don't even want to go there I'm not even getting started with that I'm not gonna get started with that that's just balloonies our air conditioner just needs to be upgraded and it's a simple fix but it's just they haven't gotten to it and we only have like whatever 12 more days of school left I'm not worried about it I'm not I'm not and they're not gonna be in my room anyway in the summer so but it's kind of weird because it is 68 degrees here today and then it's going to go like you know into like the 80s this week so yeah we have not put our pull up yet our pull is like an Intex pull that you get from Walmart and we've had it for a few years I think our pull now is actually called a Coleman but I t I'll tell you what, if you take care of these pools and you take them down every year and, you know, you put them away like in a secure spot, they will last you years, like years. We had, when we, we've been here in our house for like 15 years we've been here and I think we've replaced our pool three times, but the pools are only about um, 300, closer to 400. Oh. 
but we love it. We love it because it just, you know, it's something for us to do and it's relaxing. It's an easier, you know, easier way. Oh, I'm sorry. It's an easier way of having a pool instead of having like a above ground pool because they're like really super duper expensive. And um, I, I, I kind of don't mind, put, you know, taking it down every year too because I don't know how I feel about it being up during the winter time because you know ice and stuff even though we we didn't re- we didn't get any snow this year how crazy is that we didn't get any snow in Jersey it's crazy we got no snow ah! all right we're doing okay here my friends we're doing okay here um boo boo I think I might make this into a little time lapse video because I kind of don't want to talk everybody's ear off right now. I'd rather save some stuff for when we're like, you know, picking out our accessories and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and um, turn on some good music and let's finish this kitten up real quick. The Chris messed up. Yep. So um, I got the wrong color in here. That's what I get for talking. So, uh, I know what I did. I know. Guess what? I think it's this. 3823. That's what it is. That's what it is. It has to be. And I will, I will find out for sure. Let me know in the comments down below if you have ever done this before. Have you? Have you? Yeah, we're okay. We're good. We we got this. You know, you might come across a time in your life where you're like, whoa, what did I just do? Well, sit back, take a deep breath, count to 10, put your thinking cap on, and you can figure it out. You know, don't beat yourself up. Don't be doing that because that's not, that's not good. Don't beat yourself up over stuff like that. You know, if I can figure it out, you can figure it out. It's all about figuring stuff out, you know? All right, we're going to go back over to the time lapse, my friends. it again my friends what is she, what, are we, what are we doing with our lives here watching Chris today well you know I got my glasses on today that's for sure but I don't know I don't know what Chris is doing over here we are almost done now. I'm all excited. I've been thinking about like accessories too. So, oops, there's a little bit more in here. So I got the 906 and the 907 mixed up. That is all right though. That is all right. Okay, let's get back to our time lapse. Take two. So for some strange reason, I cannot find my little sticker that goes into your journal here. So we'll have to figure, oh my goodness.
this Chris look. It's right here. Yay. I knew I had it somewhere. All right. So I am going to save this. I'm going to put this right here. But here is all, all of our <laughs> diamonds right here. If I can count, let me see. So we have 48 colors. 48 containers, sorry, take that back. And then we have six left over, but this is not bad. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the 5200s and two bags of 310. I do have one container of the AB, I believe it's 5200. So we're gonna put that aside put that over here and let's go on over to our journal real quick I've been sticking with this I got this little uh notebook at either Barnes and Noble or Target but I love it so I did um I have had it since December of 22 I think actually no um no yep I have so a lot of them are not you know I don't know what the hell this was Oh no. Let's go on over. All right, so I believe we're on number because I just finished this one right here. I just finished um, Defender of Truth, Wonder Woman. Okay, so right now we are gonna go and put in Frida Kylo. And I like to write this with a uh, pencil just in case. So we're gonna put our special pen aside and let me see where my pencil is real quick. Oh, it's right here, sorry. So let's put in uh, number 16 of 2023. Okay, and we're gonna say kit it up. Oops, messed that up already. That's why we use a pencil, kit it up. And we're gonna put 5, 21, 23. And we'll put our start date finish okay and I did want to how many colors did we have we had a total of there was oh I'm gonna have to figure that out real quick I believe we have 39 colors 39 colors and then I'm gonna put special ads Okay, and we have, I believe there are only two ABs, 135, 126. Another one, I think, I mean, hello, if I look at the crass. 39 colors, got that right. And we do only have two ABs. All right. Two ABs. Okay, two ABs. And then let's do event, June 2023. Hashtag diamonds and diversity 2023. Oh, I got to remember to keep putting that in. Diamonds and diversity 2023 because I think they're going to, Lexi and Brie are going to continue to do this uh, next year as well. All right, so we have that. I can put that aside. We haven't started it yet, so it's not going to be number 16 just yet. But so let's put that aside. I'm going to put... um. Let's go on over to our container real quick because I want to make sure that I have what I need because I'm going to literally close this up when we're done. So here goes. Oh, this is more washi tape. And is this wax? Okay. Boop, boop. We just take this out, put these aside. Okay. So I am gonna cut this off real quick. Cut this. It's not like the perfect cut, but let's put this in here in our little bag right there. Okay, and I will save these stickers. I have a little bin for them. So let's pick out our pen. What? So I'm probably gonna do a couple, um, a couple pens okay I like this pen now I don't know if I'm gonna use our metal placer I've been really trying to get like used to them again and they're really they're not they're not working out the greatest for me they're just not so let me mute real quick and let's go grab some plastic placers real quick so I definitely am gonna grab I think this is a five placer so let's grab a five placer um, I'm gonna grab a straightener just in case I might also grab a seven placer. And I really like the four placers. I really like those the four placer. So I'm going to grab a couple of those because I, I tend to go through them a whole lot. So yeah, I'm just going to grab a couple. 
So we have some of those. Now I think for our diamond painting, I like I definitely do like to switch up with pens. So I did get this. It's like a creamsicle. I'm, I'm not sure of the name off the bat from Diamond Art Club. So let me put a five placer on here. So that's gonna be one pen. And I have this pen. Let's put a, a seven placer in here. Okay, and then let's see about this one. Hold on one second. Now this pen I got from Amazon, but it's a screw in one. I'm gonna see if we can possibly put some washi tape around here and see if it will stick. I'm gonna see, cause I really like the feel of this pen. So let's try that out real quick. Okay, I definitely don't think this is gonna work, but I thought I could try. It's definitely not, I mean, it might work if I really press it down. I'm really trying to get it in there. I'm afraid it's gonna move though, so I don't know. I mean, maybe we can try it, but if not, I am waiting on one more pen. I did wanna put these in a little container of some sort. I wonder if these could fit in here. Let me see if I can put these in here. I think they will fit. Yes, yeah, so you don't have to keep going back into your stash. All right, so we have those. Now let's see. So we need um, I need some putty, and I think I might change out this this single placer for another single placer. So give me a second. So I have a few different um, single placers. Let me see if this one will fit in. This one is from Diamond Art Club. I don't know, am I gonna be able, am I gonna break the pen? I wouldn't do that. I think this one's in there, but I don't know if I like how it looks. <laughs> All right, well, at least we got three pens, three pens. And um, I'm gonna hold on to this washi tape real quick, but let's pick out our potty and oh snap dots which one should we use my friends i don't know what can we use i don't know where painting with pities new putty wins but i think i'm going to use the cucumber melon from oh snap dots right and I could use, I really do like Day at the Beach. This is my favorite. I think I'm gonna use this as well. So I'll put these aside. Okay. So let's stick this in here and we'll stick these in here as well. And they could always change, but I just thought that, you know, it's nice to have a couple, you know, different pens to kind of switch, you know, up with. Now, of course, I'm gonna be using um, these mine covers from Oh Snap, Snap, Oh Snap, Oh, 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 Oh Snap, Oh, Oh, Oh Snap, Snap Crafters Cafe. Yes, we're gonna do, we're gonna do, a, I think we're gonna do this one and the Dabber. We're gonna do these two. We're gonna put these two in, right? Put them in there, you stay put, okay? And what else do we need? So, I'm gonna to totally use our, it's like I'm, it's like we are packing our suitcase to go bye-byes, you know? So this, uh, this trinket tray, I know I'm just gonna, like that because I got all those diamonds I have to pick up. I'll put them over, over here. I vacuum at least twice a day here. We will be using this uh, trinket tray from Lexi Sparkle. It is called Be Proud. So I love this. How many diamonds? I got diamonds everywhere. Oh, all right. So with that being said, let's put that in here. Okay, I don't wanna put that in there. <laughs> And I think, what else can we use? We got our putty, we got our oh snap dots. Okay, so I'm gonna pause for a second and I'm going to get my paint in, our Frida Kylo, and we're gonna put her on up on the table here and we're going to pick out some washi tape, all right? Okay, I definitely can't forget about this little, uh... oops, my microphone's not near me. Sorry, I apologize. Talking to the microphone, Chris. Uh, this is a trash minder that Lexi Sparkle sent me with my latest tray that I got. You can put it on your canvas. So let's find our other magnet around somewhere, wherever it went. Where could it be? I know I have two somewhere. 
I have way too many, way too many cover minders here. Okay. I will find that and put that in our bag or suitcase. I'm sorry. Okay. So, um, don't know how well this is going to go. Okay. But we're going to figure it out. But look at all this color blocking we have. Oh my gosh. All right. So I do have some washi tape that I bought from Target. I believe it's the Mondo Llama set, but we have a few here on my handmade washi tape holder. Yeah. Yep. Oh, I think I just broke it. Man, Chris, I think I broke it. Okay, so I wanted to do like a rainbow theme. Do I really want to go there, Chris? Do you really want to waste all that washi tape? Unless, where did my other one go? I had it somewhere. Where did it go? Where did it go? I might have to mute. Okay, so this is a, I keep moving my microphone away. I apologize. This is a Harbor Freight container. Yes, Freight, 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 whatever you want to call it. It is nowhere near organized, my friends. Oh, no, 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 no. So let's open it up. I have my other containers in a uh, art dot storage case like we're using for this kit up, kitten up. So I do have some that are really cool. So I didn't want to use, huh, 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 huh. I would like to use like a light color around the edges here so I can see our legend. Is that how you say it? Legend. I call it ledger. And that's all right. You call it whatever you want. You call it whatever you want. Okay. So I think for the outside, we can possibly do this. Or, I love this one. This one says pride. Like, pride, love is love. That one's pretty. I think we should just do it, you know? Stop thinking so hard about it and just do it, Chris. Um, let me see. I do have... I'm trying to think. If I... This one's white. Um, you know what? I like this one, too. I think I like this one, too. So, let's see. I will... Can I fit these, stick these in there? Let me see. Will they all fit? Will that close? Oh, it still closes. Oops, I have one more. Oh, I have two more. Okay, this will go back underneath my desk. All right, so I don't know. I don't, I don't know what I want to do. I would love to use these because these are great. I think I want to be safe. I want to be safe. So I'm going to use this for the, for the edges. So let's do that real quick. I'll put this aside. I've watched plenty of people do this and I'm all excited to do it. It's like my first video really diving in, doing it. So we're gonna pull this up a little bit, just a little bit. Oh, it's really sticky. Okay, and let's see how well this goes on. If worse comes to worse, we can change it out. Now I'm doing it my way. You do it whatever way you wanna do it. I'm just doing it because I thought it was fun. Okay, so let's put that down here. I have gotten a little bit better with doing stuff taking my time not rushing okay that looks good all right and we're going to do this side over here okay let's pull this up i kind of want to overlap here so i don't know if i'll be doing this the right way it's, it's not perfect chris but that's all right at least you tried at least you tried I was so very excited when Lexi and Brie announced that they were doing this because I don't think I've ever um, did an event for like Pride Month and I've always wanted to like diamond painting related wise. So I'm super duper excited, but I'm super um, happy that we're, ce we're, we're celebrating Pride Month with diamond painting. I think that's an awesome idea. I think it's awesome. Not totally... And like I said, I got this off of Amazon. I don't know if I have the link still um, or if they even have them, but you can literally, you know, find them anywhere. Okay, it's not looking too bad. It's not totally matching, but you know. Do what makes you sparkle if it's diamond painting all day. Do it. Just make sure you do your laundry. Don't let it sit because it can start to stink. 
Make sure you move every hour. <laughs> All right. I wish I had enough um, release paper. I might have to look to see if I have any still. I doubt it. I don't think I have enough. And I don't want to order anymore because I don't like how the washi tape comes up. Oh, look at this. There goes a magnet right here on my watch. You believe that? It got on my watch goodness gracious gosh i was like where did that magnet go i know i had it oops who's making noises outside i don't know chris all right so i'm gonna put this in our little basket so we know that we use this okay right now i would like to see if I mean, I really do like this. I like the orange. I love this purple. This purple is really nice. Um, but I want to use like a light color. Let's see. Like either a yellow. This is a yellow. Boo boo. Like with yellow, we can do. You want to be all fancy dancy? Let's do this, my friends. Let's do this. Red, orange, yellow, green, and blue, indigo, and violet, too. We're going to do a rainbow. Let's just do it. Let's do it. <laughs> So this is probably the most neatest washi tape placement I've done in forever. But I am going to hang this up. I might start it earlier than, um, than June, but I'm not sure. At least it's ready, my friends. So with that being said, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I appreciate it so much. I really, truly enjoy doing these videos. I have so much fun and, um, I really hope that you all enjoy it as well. I want to know in the comments down below, like what you're working on. Are you going to be joining Diamonds and Diversity 2023? Are you um, looking to find a painting? Are you picking out certain accessories? Like whatever it is. And um, I think this is going to be an amazing event. So a shout out to Painting with Pities and Lexi Sparkle. Thanks so much for uh, creating this event. It's a cool event. I'm all, I'm all for it. You know, all about supporting pride and pride month. And you know, love is love, my friends, love is love. And I'm really hoping that this painting is suitable for this uh, event. I don't know. I, I think it is. I'm, I'm going to stick to my, you know, my heart about it. I think it's a great painting. But anyway, with that being said, I'm going to stop being weird. And I'm going to end here. I'm going to edit this video and get it on up for Wednesday for you all. But for those of you that are uh, a returning subscriber, thank you so much. If you are new to the channel, welcome back on in. Nope, I'm sorry. If you are new to the channel, welcome on in. There we go, Chris. And um, if you're considering subscribing, please do so. It is free and it helps me knowing that you all like being here. That doesn't make any sense, Chris. Just shut up, Chris. Shut up. If you're considering subscribing, that would mean so much to me. I love seeing new faces and chit-chatting with everybody in the comments down below. I love sharing diamond painting and diamond painting content with you all. And I hope that you all um, have a great day. I will see you all in the next video. Remember to be kind, be gentle, take it easy. Tell yourself you're doing the very best you can. And do something every day that makes you happy. If it's diamond painting, killing zombies, 
playing The Sims, listening to true crime, shopping on Etsy, reading a great book, having a nice glass of wine, whatever it is that makes you happy and makes you feel content and calm and, you know, in your in your place where you feel happy, do it. Do it, do it, do it. With that being said, I'm going to end here, my friends. Love you all. See you in the next one. Bye.